make sure I can be seen really good. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Linda Nicole. Before you leave, make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure you give my video some love. So today's haul is going to be just a quick little Marshalls haul. I went there after work today. I got a couple things, but then I also went to CVS for some boring things I just needed. So I'm gonna go through the fun stuff first and then I'll get to the boring stuff and yeah um, I'm gonna film another video after this or I don't know what order the videos are gonna go up in so I'm gonna talk about some products that are from the same company in both ones and this is little Sandy right here she's gonna make her little debut this is my sister's little chihuahua I'm in my new little space now, which I will do a story time video on my new living situation and everything that has gone down since the last video that I've uploaded. But anyway, let's get into the Marshalls haul. I'm going to start with the most fun thing first because it's for my little baby, Nisi Poo. I got her these nubby pacifiers with a clip. She was born this past April, so she's only a couple months old. She's not even a year old yet, so she still is on the passy, and she drops them a lot, so I think a little flippy clip is going to work good for her. I got both nieces a little red velvet Santa bag, and I'm filling them with a bunch of little goodies that are age appropriate for both of them, and then my oldest niece, who is 12, is going to get more age appropriate stuff, so that's that. Um, next product is from Ola Henriksen. This is the Dashing Through the Glow gift set. And it comes with the Clean Truth Foaming Cleanser and the Sheer Transformation Perfecting Moisturizer. It's a multi-fruit acid, multi-fruit acids and antioxidants. So I love this brand. You are going to see in my other video, which is going to be about some of the holiday gift sets that I've already purchased and which ones I like, which ones I don't like. I don't know which one's going to go up first though, but there are some other products from this line in there that I've already been using and loving and some of the products I've already repurchased because... I love them that much, but I have never used either of these before. Um, this was only $9.99. It says compare at $12, but realistically, this would probably be like $18 to $25. So that's that. Next up is from Real Techniques. This is the Diamond Shaped Sponge, which I really wanted one of these. It's the Bold Metals Collection uh, Miracle Diamond Sponge. When these first came out, I really, really wanted to get one, but I feel like I just didn't grab it in time, so I didn't get my hands on it, so I found one, and it was only $3.99. Next up, I bought me a Marc Jacobs Eyebrow Pencil for $7.99. It is in the shade, let me see here, ash brown so I usually do an ash blonde or a taupe color but I did open it just to make sure because when you're at Marshall's like you need to make sure every little thing is not completely trash there were so many good things there that were like completely broken I saw a couple of the Aurora glow kits from Anastasia and they were just shattered and it broke my heart that people just degrade the makeup that intensely so on one end is a nice like firm spoolie and on the other end you can see the color here so I think it's gonna be nice I'm gonna swatch it on my hand maybe a little bit dark but I think that's okay because my hair I don't know if you can see that right there but anyway it's the color is kind of like right there so it's like a I don't know, a dark blonde, I shall say, but I think it will be good for me. So it says compare, let's see the compare at price. It says compare at $15, but we, we all know that a Marc Jacobs brow pencil is going to be more than $15. Bucks. So next up, I'm super excited about this. It is the Micro Needle Facial Roller. 
So I've been told that these are kind of tricky to use at home, but basically it says use once a week or as needed, cleanse, exfoliate, and thoroughly dry skin. Apply your favorite facial serum to face, gently roll micro needle across skin in all directions, paying special attention to forehead, chin, and cheeks. Use light to moderate pressure depending on preference. Cleanse roller after each use by submerging or rubbing and rubbing alcohol for one to three minutes and then air dry. And it says pro tip for optimal results use in conjunction with facial serums and creams. So I'm excited about this. I want to actually open it. Is it taped shut on one side? It sure is. That's okay. I'll just rip it open. And things are taped. Oh my gosh. And it's like fully like looks like medical grade wrapping. You see this? And it's purple color too, which I love because my favorite colors are teal and pink, but I love really just colors in general. So this is it, and it is a very, let me see, rub it across my hand. Ooh, feels nice and prickly. I kind of want to rub it across my face right now, but I don't want to get it too dirty, so. Anyway, that is that. It's very, like, tiny, tiny needles. Let me see, it says on the top. On the packaging the size it is 0 0.25 millimeter so I believe that is the size of each of the tiny little micro needles that will be going into the skin okay so next up let me put that back in the box first So yeah, I think I'm going to use this tonight when I am ready to wash my makeup off and get this going. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, next up, I got this Revolution Makeup London Flawless 232 Piece Eyeshadow Palette, and it was $5.99. I have loved, it was, it's called the Flawless 2, I've never even heard of it, I've never, like I really just got into the Makeup Revolution stuff I use their um, ghost setting powder which a lot of people hated that was my first product from them I believe at least it was I don't know a lot of people hate it but I like it I love the brightening that it leaves under my eyes I can get it open I'm gonna grab scissors can you guys see my festive leggings that I've got on here with my little boots Holiday festive leggings are always fun to wear to work. Where did I start off at? Right here. Oh, there's a little hole right here that you're supposed to like dig into. Right, and it is in a box, so hopefully I don't open it up and it's like completely shattered. Looks like the pan sizes are gonna be pretty small considering it's supposed to be 32 eyeshadows, but let's see together. Ooh, this is hard to open. Can you do it? Oh, okay, and they're all named. It has the little, I'll show you got the little um, plastic covering with the names there so I'm probably gonna keep that but the colors look nice let me scooch a little closer to you guys so I can like swatch some stuffy stuff I'm gonna swatch one of the mattes like a crease color looking matte mmm See that? I'll swatch with this really gold shimmery color. That looks pretty. I'll swatch it on the back of my hand so you guys can see. Okay, that is definitely showing up for the party. 
And then there's a really pretty pink color here that I'm gonna swatch. It's a little powdery and get it all over my finger. So it's not like a half butt swatch. And then there's that nice, really pretty pink. So the shimmers look really nice. The mattes, mm. Some of the mattes are a little chalky. Let me try another one. Let's see here. What shade should I go in to? I'm gonna go into like a darker grayish brown and see how that goes. Okay, so that's right here at the very bottom. A little bit chalky, but I did pay, what, like five bucks for this? What did I pay for it? Let's see on the wrapper. $5.99 for this. So um, I swatched, okay, I'm sorry. So I swatched the, the shades Expert, which was the pink shade. Um, the shade Absolute, which was the gold shade. Victory, which was that smoky taupe color. And then I also swatched the shade Infinite, which barely showed up, which was this like really, really light color, like right here where my finger's at. Um, so there's a lot of really light, similar shades in here, but that's okay. I think it'll be fun to play with. It has a lot that you could probably do with it because there's a lot of darks, there's a lot of warm tones and cool tones, so there's a little bit of everything. I think I'm going to have fun with this. And last but not least, I got one of these Stila Glitter and Glow Highlighter in Illuminators. Um, it says it's a sheer liquid sparkling highlighter. Mix color, multicolor mix of pearl and glitters adds an iridescent wash of sparkle to skin. Water infused formula applies easily and wears perfectly over makeup. Using the applicator wand on, or on fingers, tap onto high points of face and blend, wear on bare skin or over makeup. So basically, this looks like one of the eye colors from Stila. So I am probably just going to wear it as that because I don't think I would use this as like a highlighter. And I'm going to see the dry down time on my skin, but if you can see it right there at the very end of my hand it's like a teal like baby blue sparkly color I think it probably it definitely looks buildable because I'm like putting layer after layer over it and it's building up but um yeah so if you can see that on my skin I'm probably going to use this on the eyes because it's supposed to be like a highlighter for the face but I would never probably do like a blue highlighter unless I was doing like a super fun crazy look but I think I can definitely use this for the eyes and have fun with that so that is all that I bought my total was $47.94 so with tax being $288 I spent $50.82 and that's pretty much it for that part of the haul. I did go over to CVS because I had some extra care box and I needed a couple of personal items. So let me show you guys that. Everything back in the bag here. Okay, so I went over to CVS and I had ten dollars an extra care box so I only ended up spending two dollars of my own money two, I think two dollars and like nine cents so I bought the Nivea and shower body lotion because I am out of the current bottle that I'm using I don't always use this exact one I usually use the one in the blue bottle but they were out of it so this one has cocoa butter in it and it's for dry to very dry skin it says rinse off app use after cleansing and then rinse off I never rinse it off because I don't feel like I need to and I just love it. I also got this Alme Sensitive Skin Antiperspirant and Deodorant because I needed deodorant and I was like, Alme makes deodorant? Like, what the heck? So we're going to smell it together. It's 
like a gel. Doesn't really have a scent that I can tell. It's a little bit like on my arm. It feels good, but it doesn't really feel like it has a scent. Oh yeah, and that, that glitter, like highlighter thing that was from Stila is definitely dried down. I think it would be beautiful on the eye, so I think I'm gonna try a look with that. So yeah, that's pretty much all I got. My extra care box for my bajillion year long receipt. I spent um a dollar and eight cents on the wait, okay. It was eight forty nine for the in shower body lotion, but there was a coupon for a dollar off. So um I seven forty one and then the Alme deodorant was originally $3.59 but I got it for $2.25 and then I used my extra care box spent $2.09 well subtotal was $1.68 and then Maryland tax is $0.41 cents. so $2.09 was my thing and I got a bunch of extra coupons here that I'm probably going to use so that is pretty much it so I hope you guys enjoyed these Cool little things that I got and make sure you subscribe if you are not already and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!